That really, really felt like a testimonial, didn't it? Man United nil, Real Sociedad nil, through to the round of 16 in the Europa League. Ah, uh, uh, reminded me of Louis van Gaal. Man, we, we got used to watching that for years, didn't we? That sort of stuff. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's my match reaction. No, it's not my match reaction, but let me know uh, your sort of opinion on the game. It was a game that United didn't need to go in and do anything crazy. We saw Harry Maguire rested. Bruno Fernandes with the captain's armband. I'd like to see that more often. Let's be honest, Bruno is the man. Um, we saw a few changes. We saw plenty of changes at half-time. But there's no real talking point. No major standout point comes from that game. Other than the fact that United did what they needed to do. They got a clean sheet. We weren't really threatening. We hit the bar. They hit the bar. They missed a penalty. Woeful penalty. Nobody can hop against Bruno Fernandes and expect to score. What are you doing? Idiot. Um, there's plenty of individual smaller talking points out. I'll run through what I think uh, from that game, but mm, let's just sort of forget that and move forward to Chelsea at the weekend, I suppose. But in terms of individual points, I think there's something to be said about Dean Henderson. I thought he looked calm, he looked assured, and, but unfortunately these games are not going to be the games where we see whether Henderson is good enough to be United's number one goalkeeper. He did what he needed to do correctly, but it's not a big enough test for Henderson. He needs to be played in Premier League games, in pressure situations, and that is where we're going to see whether or not he's good enough. And that's my own opinion. I think Eric Bay and Lindelof in front of him as a partnership, I think that worked quite well. But again, they never we we weren't really threatened that much. And actually, when I think in the first half, when Raul Sociedad were attacking, Yanaze putting on a little bit of a show, I, I enjoyed watching that. Actually, I really did. I really wanted it to work out for Yanaze, and it didn't. Oh well. Um, but our, our midfield was letting those chances be created. We were good at the final defending. And Bayer and Lindelof did their jobs there. And by the way, Lindelof, that was not a foul for Twan Zebe's goal. Really unlucky for Twan Zebe. He's had such an unlucky season, I think. You know, he's, he's had that. I can't remember what, what game it was, but when a deflected goal happened off him. And I remember that performance away against PSG. At centre back, and you're thinking, what? Well, that was his first game in a long time. Hasn't had the opportunity since, and he's getting played in defensive midfield there, coming on at half time. And I don't think it's really fair on him. He's, he's a much better natural centre back. But Solskjaer decided to. I, I don't. I don't really know what's going to happen for him at United if you're not going to get a chance at centre back in a game like this. And that's me being completely honest. I think Williams coming on at half time. It shows why Williams hasn't really played much this season. He. I like his tenacity, but it's season. he's not using it as an asset anymore, really. It's just a bit... He, he, can't, he easily could have got a red card for one of those two second... Uh, actually, the first the first challenge he made after he had a yellow, that wasn't really a yellow, but the one after that, maybe. Anyway, it seems a bit reckless. That's my own opinion. So I think, I think one thing I was disappointed with tonight, though, if I'm being completely honest, uh, was Anthony Martial. Because he's just he's been blowing cold all season. Uh, and I wouldn't say he had huge amounts of service today. And that one chance where the goalkeeper definitely tipped it over the bar, that was a good bit of movement. But the you need to see more from Martial for him to be starting in games. And I think when Cavani's fit and able and ready, Martial should be nowhere near that start 11. And that's my own opinion. You might disagree on that, but I don't think he will. Martial's just still not doing enough to show that he's anywhere near good enough to be a starting striker for Manchester United in the long term. We saw it last season, but it just hasn't been there this year. Obviously... Uh, there's a huge talking point of Ahmed Traore, Diallo. I'm going to call him Ahmed. Ahmed and Shoretire. I think I've got that right. Shoretire becoming the youngest ever United player in Europe. 17 years and 23 days. That will be a night that he'll never forget. It's a shame it had to happen in front of an empty old Trafford, but it will still be a night he will never forget. And five years on from Rashford making his debut for United against Midtjylland, he wore the captain's armband for the second half. It's our, our, our record with the youth and the progression of youth and the importance of youth is so fundamental to United. So I love seeing players like Shaw Atire coming through, Dean Henderson in goal, all around 4,000 games in a row, plus four, more than 4,000 games, record dating back to the 30s. But United have had an academy graduate in our squad. Every single, that's, that's phenomenal. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing what Shaw Atire can do in the first team. He's exciting with the under-18s and... That's for sure. But seeing him getting 15 minutes, that was good in terms of Ahmed. That move he made straight away when he came on, he, he, you can see how much more confident and comfortable with 
the ball at his feet than he is over Dan James. Uh, and I think clearly he's a little bit more technical as well than Mason Greenwood. Again, we couldn't really see too much of him because I don't think he really had the service or the opportunities to run at Raul Sossi, had defenders, because they were sitting quite, quite deep. Uh, I think they came here tonight just not wanting to get pumped rather than actually chasing the game. Maybe it would have been different if that penalty had gone in, uh, but it didn't. Uh, and that was Sociedad's best moment. I think they only had a shot on target. Like The first shot on target was like late in the second half. It, it really was a crap game. It really, really was. Um, I don't think we should have expected anything differently, really. I was a bit confused as to why Rashford even came on, though, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe it was just... No, I just don't know why he came on. It was a bit of a risk. Same way that starting Bruno Fernandes was a bit of a risk. But given that Maguire wasn't playing, I don't think Solskjaer trusted the rest of that team to stay focused and professional. And that's why he had Bruno Fernandes on the pitch. He nearly scored a lovely goal, hit the bar with his first time ever after Fred was put through. Fred played okay. There's no major, major, major talking points. There's no major negatives. There's no major positives. And I think that's kind of really what happens when a nil-nil happens. But United are through to the next round of the Europa League. For me, the headline is... It's got to be Diallo getting his old Trafford debut, 25 minutes under his belt. We all want to see what he can do in the Premier League, in the bigger games, when United need something from that right wing. It's exciting to see what happens there. I want to see Bay play more often. I want to see Henderson play more often. Ideally, I want to see them both playing together in the Premier League. I think it can make a difference to our defence. That's my own opinion, but I think you'll agree on that one. But let me know who your man of the match was. I don't know who you can say is man of the match. I have no idea. The referee certainly wasn't, though. One of those asshole referees who wants to be sent to stage, I think. I'm not really sure how you can give that as a... Lindelof jumped for the corner. The defender decided to just, just stand there, just appreciating the old Trafford sights, and just decided not to jump. But uh, Lindelof got reprimanded for that, which I found very odd. But uh, who was your man of the match? What was your moment of the match? Sure, Tire and Trey and Ahmad getting their minutes is probably the main talking point, but let me know what you think. And I cannot believe I've just managed to talk about that game for seven and a half minutes. That's incredible. I'm, I'm proud. <laughs> but make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. If you're still here at the end of that, I salute you.